Hi guys, welcome back to Canada's Garage. We're doing another video there today on a 2017 Ford Mondeo. We have an ABS issue or ABS light coming on, ESP light coming on. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in to have a little fast look and see what we have. Every time I look at this, I can see a glare of myself, but apologies. Sorry. Memory cards. Okay, what I'm seeing is electronic park brake enable and left front wheel speed sensor. I have on a video I done relatively recently on a, an A-class Mercedes, I've seen the handbrake act funny because of signals coming from speed sensor. So because of that, I'm probably just gonna go in here and start looking at this and see what we what we get or what we find. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll I'll get in and I'll have a little look at the live data and just see what we see here coming from all four speed sensors. Deselect all. One, two, three. Funny, and anyway, the way they put them everywhere, rather than kind of roughly being together, they kind of stick them all over the place. I'm going to go for a graph view. Really see a shine or a reflection every now. Okay, so right now we're all on zero. Okay, the man drives out into the air, and, and worse the, the reflection gets. Enough wipers and everything. Oh, holy God, you really can see me now, can't you? Hi, how are you all doing? Okay, so what we have is I have a signal coming from all, all of them. I might do a little bit of a bigger drive while not on camera and just put up a screenshot of what I see. And at that point, we might get in there and do a visual on the, this one here left front wheel speed sensor and just see what the story is. Okay, I have removed the ABS speed sensor on the left hand front. Visually looks okay, the wiring all the way up looks okay. I've sent in a boroscope. Let's see this. A boroscope in the hole. In the hole to see what the pickup or the tone ring is like. And that is what I'm seeing. I'm going to try and hang. Gosh, it's not really great, but it, it's... One second. Okay. This is a, a little bit of a... It's quite... chippy and chatty when I'm spinning around. Whatever is in there, it doesn't look very clean and very good. I don't know if I can get, that's as good as I can get. So all the way around, it's kind of bad, but I can't decipher between it being the sensor that I have hanging there or the actual tone ring. So I don't, it's intermittent and I can't see it. So it could be that, or it could be the pickup ring. Maybe the ABS sensor would be the easiest one to try to start with, okay? I can actually see where the bearing was rubbing off the actual sensor. It's that surface area, area there. That's what's making me call sensor and the bearing, okay? Because it looks so bad inside of the borescope and because of that rubbing mark. So if we change just the sensor, the rubber mark, mark would happen again from the other sensor. So it needs the bearing and Okay, I'm going to have to take off my wheel bearing and my ABS 
sensor, okay? Out here, just to show how fussy and pernickety these things are. Now, with a boroscope, as you saw, could only kind of see little bits, but look. So I couldn't get a great visual on this. Look what is actually causing the problem in here. I'm gonna get a, a pocket screw there one second. That is some kind of a shiny bit of metal-like substance. When we sent in our boroscope, we could see it from here being just rusty around, not able to see the actual side in great detail, but that is what is causing the problem. But you can't see it in that great detail without spending an hour taking it apart, an hour and a half, whatever it is, taking it apart. And then if you disassemble and you see something wrong here, are you then going to try and sell the job, keep the car off the road in order to get the nice shiny new one? Or do you, from your boroscope, choose, look, it needs a bearing. So we take it apart, we get a bearing, we put it in, there's no stoppage on the day for the customer, and it's straight back going again. But I believe that that is the problem on our ABS issue. Where, where, where's my ABS sensor? Uh, can't find it. I have the new one here. But the new ABS sensor, anyway, I would say that that is running around and rubbing off of those shards of metal or whatever it may be, which left a mark on the top of the sensor and interrupted the signal coming from, our, from the bearing or the sensor and going to the uh, ABS control module, okay? But that, just to show that it's how easy, if I clean that now, potentially that would be okay to go back in. It's not gonna happen though. That's going in. It's going to be comprehensive. It's going to be right. And we're getting new sensor into it as well. Okay? Guys, maybe I sometimes forget this crack. I don't like trying to get out them ball joints. Sometimes they can be tight. Hard to get out both bolts stuck into it. So what's easy and fast for me up here is the power tool. and get in and boom, boom, out them things. Once of the two of them out, I was able to I also, sorry, pulled off the drive nut at the front. But once I had those out, I was able to get enough room uh, try to get light in and get enough room so I could get in at the bolts. I had to do a little bit of wiggling side to side and I'm using a universal joint on top of my power tool um, to, to wrap them out from, they can sometimes be very rusty. The bolts where they protrude through here, they can be quite rusty. So use the power tool to get them out for speed, get them back in, torque them and squeeze it up together, get in my ABS sensor which I'll show you in a second. But that's just how I, I pull out my hub, just to make it easier and faster Guys, for me. always use a strap of some sort just to hold the caliper. Don't ever leave it hang on the hose itself. Leave it hanging on something robust, a bungee cord or something like that, or a hook or whatever it may be, okay? Okay, guys, caliper back on. Disc sensor sitting in there. Shock bolted back on. Uh, plugged in, all ready to go. Lava wheel up and on. Uh, we'll monitor. Okay stuff. guys, this Ford uh, Mondeo has been out on the road for the last week and a half or so. I've just been talking to the customer and what they've said is that the car is, is a fix. There is no issue. Haven't got her back for code scans or anything like that, but the feedback for me is enough. Um, what the customer did say is that I was the first garage that has ever really showed her the actual parts and that she was delighted to see the parts and what had been causing the issue. Um, maybe as a whole, everyone all of us in the trade should be showing our parts to the, the customers. I don't know, just good feedback anyway to get that they like to see the parts. And I do like to keep everything. So no matter whether it's an old leather belt or I wouldn't say service parts, but anything once is a wheel bearing or uh, an alternator or a start or any of these kind of things, I like to get them and show them to the customers. But yeah, it was good feedback anyway. She was quite happy and the car is a fix. So that's hope you found something a little bit helpful on this one. Please like and subscribe if my hints and tips are any good to you. And thanks for watching. Peter Kennedy, Kennedy's Garage, signing out. I'll talk to you all in the next cartoon, boys. See you again.